Ty Lu. You know, they went to a secondary list, and the influence of Kurt Rambis and even Phil Jackson it really is felt in this Frank Vogel hiring. They flew him in on Thursday. By Saturday morning, he had an offer to be the Lakers coach uh, with a stipulation that Jason Kidd would be part of his staff. Vogel talked with Jason Kidd, and they'll move forward together uh, to, to, you know, to you know, lead this post Luke Walton era. Well, you mentioned Jason Kidd right there. He comes as part of the deal. It was compulsory. Does that immediately have him looking over his shoulder or down the bench? Because here's another guy who's coached in the league, and if things start slowly, uh, they got a guy standing by to be the new man. Well, that's going to be a challenge for Jason Kidd, and I think he's determined to show that he's going to be a loyal assistant coach. You know, certainly he has a relationship uh, from his playing days with LeBron James. They were together uh, in Team USA, played together. They were competitors for a very long time, and I know they've talked here in the last couple of days uh, about this possibility, uh, but you know, Jason Kidd's going in to be uh, an assistant coach, and Frank Vogel, you know, who while he had a difficult run in that rebuild in Orlando, had a very successful run as Indiana's head coach. You know, certainly very well respected, especially on the defensive end. Uh, this isn't a Showtime uh, glamour coach, but the Lakers, there were none in the market for the Lakers. Uh, you know, they went with a coach in Frank Vogel, who's had success in the league, um, and. Uh, now gets a chance to, to coach uh, LeBron James and then a very young core in L.A. around him. And who knows about free agency? This won't be the last time we talk about the Los Angeles Lakers. Thanks for joining us, Woj. Thanks, Kenny. All right, so Frank Vogel gets to work with LeBron James. It's been a bad experience working against him. Uh, lost him 30 times as a head coach, including the playoffs. That's the third most by any head coach with only Doc Rivers, Dwayne Casey having more. Vogel also eliminated from the playoffs three times by LeBron, tied for the most by any coach. But now they're on the same club. I'm joined now by Stephen A. Smith. And Stephen A., I can't wait for this presser. How does Jeannie Buss sell to all of America that Frank Vogel was their top choice all along to run the Lakers show? Well, first of all, she's not going to be able to sell it. That's number one. I mean, Frank Vogel is respected. Make no mistake about it. He coached 10 years in Indiana. The five of the last six years he made the postseason, including four straight years and two consecutive trips to the Eastern Conference Finals. The man can't coach, but it's not about that. He's not a name with sizzle, and we all get that. But here's the biggest reason she's not going to be able to sell him, because he's not expected to be the coach long term for the Los Angeles Lakers. There's a reason why, whether it was Monty Williams, whether it was Ty Lue or anybody else, the caveat was that you had to accept Jason Kidd on your squad as a developmental coach. It was incredibly imperative to the Los Angeles Lakers that this took place. So one would ask the question, well, why not just hire Jason Kidd as your head coach? Well, it's very, very simple. He has a, a relatively uncomfortable past. One involved domestic violence. Obviously, it ended up in the divorce. Uh, there was an uh, entire drug driving while intoxicated charge uh, that he had to deal with as well. Not to mention the fact that whether it was in Brooklyn or Milwaukee, he gave the impression that he wanted more than just head coaching responsibilities. He wanted to run the show. And so as a result of that, it was a struggle for him to get back into the league in a head coaching spot. They knew they couldn't sell him to the public in Los Angeles. They went the route of Frank Vogel. Why? Because he accepted three years at $5 million per year as opposed to the three years, $6 million per year that Ty Lue was offered. So you're saving yourself $3 million there by choosing Frank Frank Vogel, not to mention the fact if there's even a modicum of success that he does not have, Jason Kidd is in line to be the next head coach. He's already on your bench. Obviously, he can maturate himself to the situation, and that's the coach they wanted all along. Kurt Rambis wanted him as coach. Jeannie Buss and the rest of those staffs, they wanted him as coach. They knew they couldn't sell him to the public, but for right now, Frank Vogel is the safe pick with Jason Kidd on his bench. And you can expect Jason Kidd to be the next head coach for the Los Angeles Lakers within two years. Steven, everything you said tells me that Frank Vogel really wanted this job, right? I mean, no coach respected, as you said, as he is throughout the league, wants to be force-fed an assistant who now also has to be looking over his shoulder because Kidd will likely be the next guy. This, this is an incredibly difficult spot, I think, for Vogel that the Ty Lue didn't want to deal with, evidently. Well it's, well, it's not that difficult, and here's why. Excuse me, is it more difficult than unemployment? Because nobody was knocking on his door to hire him as a head coach. I can tell you right, right now, search the other 29 teams in the National Basketball Association. Nobody was looking for Frank Vogel to be the next head coach. That's not to disrespect him, because, again, he can coach, and he's accomplished some things. But the new...